Welcome to Paraben's E3 platform training, SIM card acquisitions. Brief training outline, which tool is it available in? E3 Universal and E3 DS. What type of SIMs are supported? What reader is necessary to acquire a SIM? What data is collectible? And how to collect this data? E3 Universal and E3 DS allow you to analyze SIM card data. This includes the recovery of deleted data from SIM cards. GSM and CDMA from all manufacturers are supported. There are a few different types of reader options, COM SIM card readers, USB SIM card readers, PC slash SC USB card readers, mass storage card readers, all-in-one card readers, and the phone or device itself. What happens if you have a locked SIM? If the card is locked by a PIN, you will be asked to enter the PIN prior to the acquisition starting. You only have three attempts to enter the PIN. If unsuccessful, the PUK code will be requested. After entering the correct PUK code, the SIM card PIN will be reset to 0000. What type of data is collected? SIM abbreviated dialing numbers, SIM fixed dialing numbers, SIM last number dialed, SIM service dialing numbers, SIM short messages, SIM IMSI, and SIM file system. How do you collect this data? Well, let's get started. The first thing we'll want to do is go ahead and start E3 and get that to load. Now that E3 has successfully loaded, I am going to show you how to use a USB all-in-one card reader to recognize a SIM. As you can see, I have my SIM card reader, my SIM card, and then I also have a Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus Edge to show you how to remove that SIM as well. So for the SIM card reader, we're just going to go ahead and open this up. This is USB connected. And as you can see, there's an icon to show you how to insert the SIM card into this reader. This reader also supports micro SDs, etc. Also, if you're unfamiliar with how to remove a SIM card, Samsung makes it super easy. You see these two holes right here? All you do is you take your trusty paper clip that you've straightened out, insert it, and it pops right out. This one is a Nano SD. So just use the appropriate tools for what you're trying to do. I meant to say Nano SIM. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my USB. And I'm going to exit out of this wizard right here. I always like to create a new case. So as you can see, Paraben recognizes that I did plug that in, so our drivers are good to go. If you have any driver issues, please refer to our help and how to section. So we're going to go ahead and call this SIM. You can add the appropriate additional information and click finish. We're going to have this saved to our default location. We're going to cancel out of this new evidence wizard. And we're going to start acquisition up here under the evidence tab. Welcome acquisition wizard appears. It shows that, the, that it is a card reader. Now if you're dealing with Windows 8 or Windows 10 and it's not recognizing your card reader, you may need to go back to the legacy drivers to have it be recognized. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and click on that. You have the option between a full logical acquisition and a custom logical acquisition. Here's the features for custom logical acquisition. If you just need, for instance, the last number dialed, you choose that type. We're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to do the full logical acquisition. Our acquisition has fully completed and we have success across the board. Just click finish and then you will be able to do the analytics of the SIM card. And 
And now you can see all of the data. I always like to go to the Analysis tab, start counting folders, just so you know what exactly you have in each folder. Now I'm going to show you quickly how to acquire a SIM card on a Android device. As you can see, I have just plugged in that Samsung Android device. I have made sure that Unknown Sources and it is in USB debugging mode is already on for the acquisition. My device is ready to go. So I'm going to go to Evidence. I'm going to start Acquisition. And the Acquisition Wizard will appear. And here is where you can choose Portable Device. By choosing a portable device, it will only acquire the media content. So your best bet is to just pop out that SIM and get a card reader and acquire the SIM to get all of that pertinent information. So we're just going to cancel out of this or click finish. We're going to click OK and we're going to exit out of here. And this will con conclude our E3 SIM acquisition training. Thanks for watching and have a great day.